everyone, today I'm going to be announcing the next round for the Expert Club. I kind of took a bit of a month off to just change things up a little bit. Um, we're not changing much, but just changing things up a tiny bit. As you probably already saw from the thumbnail and the title of the video, our next subject that we're going to be covering is pirates. So we've done witches and now we're moving on to pirates and I'm really excited. I've got my most pirate-like top on, which isn't really very piratey, but it's piratey enough um, and I'm really excited to start learning. We have decided to, to kind of shake up the structure a little bit of the expert club so whereas before we would assign two books to read over the three months this time we are assigning two books to read over the three months but we're going to have two focus months on the two books just I think it might be easier for people to join in that way and hopefully it means that more of us can read together at the same time as well which would be really good because we've got a discord channel um, so if we're kind of reading more along the same time frame we can maybe have a few more chats and stuff like that. So for the month of September we're going to be focusing on our expert book and that book is going to be Why We Love Pirates by Dr Rebecca Simon. This book only came out last year and it's based on Dr Rebecca Simon's PhD uh, dissertation that she did. She's basically rewritten it for a wider audience um, so it's not so academically written. This book focuses on Captain Kidd who I've never actually heard of before but he was um, charged with piracy and he was hanged in 1701. Um, and this book is talking about him and his life and the manhunt for him but it also discusses how the events of what happened to him led to I guess kind of a romanticising of piracy or putting them up on a pedestal because I think the British went after pirates and there was a big pirate hunt called the golden age of piracy which again I'd never heard of actually um, and so because the British were going after these people and because the the, the the regular people who weren't pirates, they liked the goods that the pirates were bringing them and um, called them the Robin Hoods of the sea and had them on a pedestal. So this book, I believe, discusses how pirates became the pirates we know today in Hollywood. I think that's kind of the vibe that I'm getting from it. And I'm really excited to read it because I actually know nothing about real life pirates um, or anything. I think I went to like a Smuggler Inn museum when I was younger, somewhere on the coast in England, which now I can't remember where. Smuggler's Cove? <laughs> if anyone's been there, let me know what it's called. Um, there's probably loads of them, what am I talking about? But yeah, anyway, so I don't really know anything about pirates and I'm really excited to get started on this one. As I said, we're going to be reading Why We Love Pirates in the month of September. And I think my plan is to start reading it on the 20th of September and it's quite a short book, there's a 200 or so pages, but I'm going to try and read a chapter a day and I will set up the Discord so we can have all the chapters there. So if you wanted to join in with the read and join in with the time frame, that's the kind of area that I am hoping to read the book and hopefully Hannah as well. Um, so yes, around that time as well we're going to have reading sprints which we've been doing for other rounds and really enjoying. So when we've both picked up that book that's when we're going to do the reading sprints. Not sure whose channel it's going to be on yet but we will update as we go um, to let everybody know what's going on. For the month of October that's going to be kind of like the chill month where we're either catching up on the first book or just having a break from pirates um, but during that month we're going to do a tag video because we do like to do tag videos with the expert club as well um, and we're going to base the questions in that tag video kind of on what we've learnt from why we love pirates that's the idea behind it um, and just have a bit of fun with that and also we're going to try our hand at running a watch along <laughs> so I haven't discussed in depth with Hannah about this yet but we maybe we could put up a poll with different pirate movies. They don't have to be non-fiction pirate movies. It could be, well, I was pushing for Hook when we were talking about it before because I haven't watched Hook for absolutely ages, but I don't mind Pirates of the Caribbean, whatever, a really niche pirate film. Um, maybe we'll do a poll nearer the time if anyone wants to join in with that. We're not quite sure how we're going to run it yet, but it will probably be on the Discord as well. So we'll set a day um, and a time where everybody just presses play at the same time for the film and then we can all chat in the discord that's kind of the idea it might not work but it's worth a shot i think <laughs> and then finally november is the last pirate month and for that month we're going to be focusing on our experience book and for that we're going to be reading pirate hunters by robert kerson uh, this book came out in 2015 i believe this is a biography about two men that went in search of a legendary pirate ship um, i'm not quite sure when these events took place i think 
it was the early 2000s that this happened. I know this book wasn't actually written by the people who went and did this, but I still think it counts as a kind of experience point of view, just hearing about their journey and learning about why they decided to go after this pirate ship. Um, and I think it says in the blurb that they had to turn to a bit of piracy themselves in order to achieve their goal. Um, I actually, I might read you the blurb because it sounds pretty good. So it says, finding and identifying a pirate ship is the hardest thing to do under the sea, but two men, John Chatterton and John Matera, are willing to risk everything to find the Golden Fleece, the ship of the infamous pirate Joseph Bannister. At large during the golden age of piracy in the 17th century, Bannister's exploits would have been more notorious than Blackbeard's, more daring than kids. That's the bloke we're going to read about in the first book. Um, but his story and his ship have been lost to time. If Chatterton and Matera succeed, they will make history. It will be just the second time ever that a pirate ship has been discovered and positively identified. Soon, however, they realise that cutting-edge technology and a willingness to lose everything aren't enough to track down Bannister's ship. They must travel the globe in search of historic documents and accounts of the great pirates' exploits, face down dangerous rivals, battle the tides of nations and governments and experts. But it's only when they learn to think and act like pirates, like Bannister, that they become able to go where no pirate hunters have ever gone before. Did you even know that there was such thing as a pirate hunter? I definitely didn't. <laughs> the plan for November is to do the same as we're doing in September with the first book, where we have a dedicated period of time to read the book together um, and run some sprints. Um, as well. And then as usual we'll do our live show after the three months is over, so it'll be the beginning of December, which sounds absolutely crazy, um, where we can discuss all the books and everything we've learned about pirates. We have decided that we're going to have a month off in between each topic as well, so December we won't be reading anything, and then the next X Book Club topic will start from January. Um, and move onwards like that. Just because that way we end up reading a book every other month and I think for non-fiction books that's quite nice, it gives you a bit of leniency, just time to take it in, etc. Um, I'm really excited about having the structure of when we're reading the books because I think the last few rounds I've literally left it till the last week before we do the live discussion um, and that's not really the idea because then you're rushing through it, you're not really thinking about the ideas that you're reading properly. So yeah, if you'd like to join us then please do. We have tried to pick books this time round that are available on audio and on um, e-readers as well. Um, I checked on Amazon and it is they are available through Amazon that way. I just thought it would make them a bit more accessible because I know in the past we have read books that have been quite hard to come by. I will say that Why We Love Pirates is more expensive than Pirate Hunters, unfortunately, but Pirate Hunters is pretty affordable, at least on Amazon, um, and it is available on Hive and Bookshop.org as well, because I checked both of those websites, um, if those are available to you, so, and you wanted to join in, of course. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm really excited to get started, and that's it for this video. Oh, the other thing I was going to say is you don't have to read both of the books, you can just join in with one of the books, you could just join in with a watch along if you wanted to, it, it doesn't matter, just kind of drop in and out however much you feel. Um, but yeah, if you have any ideas for films or have any films that you'd really like to watch that are fairly easily available as well, then please do leave your suggestions in the comments as well and we can make up a poll at some point um, to see what we can watch. Okay, cool, so that's everything. Um, I hope that some of you would like to join us and I will see you in the next one. Take care everyone. Goodbye.